yeah, Apple does seem to be focused on security. But that doesn't guarantee that built-in protection on your Mac is enough against modern threats. Without real-time ransomware or hacking protection, your device is still at risk. So picking a capable antivirus is crucial. And to help you out with that, I have the best antivirus for Mac lineup right here. All right, I've picked my top five providers for Mac users. And in my opinion, any contender for the best antivirus for Mac shouldn't be hard to use. But let's start with a user-friendly Total AV. It was simple and quick to set up. The installation took me under five minutes. After launching the app, I am met with a well laid out interface that isn't overwhelming to use. The UI is spaced out well without feeling cluttered. The dashboard consists of four main tabs. There's also a very useful sidebar with some handy options. It's really easy to do an antivirus scan and the options for customization are not difficult to set up. So it's great for both advanced and average users. Making an antivirus app intuitive is great, but that would be useless without proper security. So how good is Total AV when it comes to that? As per usual, first I look at independent experts testing results. This is a good starting point to look at the provider's reputation and reliability. The overall Total AV results were great. To give a little perspective, anything above 98% for malware detection is good, but Total AV got 100%. They also got full marks in every important category, usability, performance, and detection. Normally, AV test results can be trusted, but I like to do my own testing for comparison. You might know the gist by now. I plant 10 malicious files onto my Mac and run a system scan with Total AV. Now, there are a good amount of other scanning options, but to make a fair comparison with other providers, I use the most complete scan the app can offer. Okay, so the process took about 14 minutes and Total AV had detected 10 out of 10 planted files. It is true that it seems easier to detect threats on Mac than on Windows, but from my experience, not every antivirus can catch all 10 threats, even on Mac. So overall, Total AV has top-notch security. Okay, what about features? I have to start with its real-time protection, which is enabled by default. With new threats arising daily, this is crucial to make sure everything is protected at all times. And Total AV Mac app does a good job with that. I was glad to see they have system tune-up tools as well. This really helped with the overall performance of my device. It can easily remove any clutter and junk files. I was also pleasantly surprised by Total AV's next-gen cloud scanning protection. With this feature, any new file that is suspicious is scanned for zero-day threats instantaneously. And there are plenty more of Total AV's advanced features. For example, it has a full-on VPN, which protects your privacy as you browse. And then there's the password manager, letting me store, manage, and share my sensitive information safely. And that's not even everything. All Total AV's premium plans pack a good amount of benefits. However, there is one thing it lacks. I would like to see them implement a firewall since some of the premium antiviruses have this already. Anyhow, to get their VPN, you will need an internet security plan, while the password manager feature is only included with their more expensive total security plan. But if you don't need those two additional security features, the Antivirus Pro plan is really enough for everything else. Considering you get three licenses, it offers a great price when compared to the other market options that offer similar features. By the way, whichever plan you choose, you can get it at a much better price with our exclusive deal by scanning this QR code or by clicking in the link in the description. All right, the next provider to review is Norton. Looking at ease of use, it's quite a different story with Norton. The installation was simple, but that's where the simplicity ends. The very first thing that is different from most of the other best antivirus providers is that a lot of features pops up in a new window. I am not a fan of that as my screen can get cluttered really quickly. Navigating and finding where's what wasn't great either. To be honest, Norton could really use a rework of their UI to make it more beginner friendly. On the other hand, it's very customizable. So seasoned users might actually like using the Norton desktop app. When it comes to security, Norton has a great reputation. It has maximal evaluation in each category from AV test labs and even meets the industry average when it comes to four week old malware detection. It can't really get better than this, but let's see how it holds up against my tests. And no surprises here, Norton 360 for Mac detected all 10 malicious files that I planted. The scan was super fast too. It only took around two minutes. 
However, while scans are running, I can't really do much else with my Mac as CPU usage can get very high at times. Now, looking at features, the first Norton versus Total AV difference and advantage is that Norton offers a firewall. It protects you from unauthorized access to your network. Yet the feature that stands out to me is Norton 360's artificial intelligence. It's excellent at Mac malware removal and in analyzing processes on my device. As soon as it detects possible malware, the potential threat goes into quarantine. As any premium antivirus for Mac should, Norton has real-time protection too. Another standout thing is cloud storage. However, it only offers two gigabytes with their cheapest plan. It has a lot of extra stuff that many MacBook antivirus providers don't have. One of those things is dark web monitoring, which scans dark web databases if any of my emails have been breached. And just like Total AV, it also has a VPN and a password manager. However, while password manager is available with all the plans, VPN is not available with Norton's most affordable option. But it is quite the norm to have features locked behind more pricey plans. It lets you tailor your experience. For example, you can benefit from parental controls with their higher tier plans, or even get their very advanced identity theft protection, which is only available with the Norton Select plan. Now their introductory offer protects only one Mac and doesn't have some of the extra features like dark web monitoring or privacy monitor. But like all the other plans, it comes with a 100% virus protection promise, which might be not that easy to hold, but hey, so far they have. And just a side note, if you like content like this, why not drop a like on this video and subscribe to our channel? We have plenty more up-to-date content on all things cybersecurity. Okay, now what about a provider that is feature-packed, but it's also easy to navigate and doesn't take entire CPU usage to itself during scans? Bitdefender for Mac can offer all of that. Okay, now to be honest, I knew what to expect since Bitdefender was named product of the year more times than any other antivirus provider. So yeah, it had full marks for all the scores. During my test, Bitdefender had a consistently low CPU usage and caught all of the planted threats too. But of course, that didn't surprise me. What did though, was that it took the longest to run a full scan out of all my picks, just over 20 minutes. And taking a better look at Bitdefender Mac app after Norton, it's a breath of fresh air. The main view includes three different categories to help you find anything you might need within a few clicks. It's true that having less stuff in the first place makes it easier to fit everything nicely, but the fact that Bitdefender is one of the most beginner-friendly antiviruses remains. And with that said, Bitdefender still has stuff going for it when it comes to features. It does have real-time protection, so that's a plus. However, there's no firewall again. Yeah, I kind of see a pattern here for macOS antivirus providers. Hopefully that gets resolved soon. But hey, Bitdefender had to make this best antivirus for macOS list for something else than just virus detection, right? Well, just like Norton, it has a parental control feature. I also like that it has an advanced ad blocker, which can add social media tracking and make websites load faster. There's also an anti-phishing measures of shared intelligence that works closely with their impressive global protection network, which is synced up, making sure I'm protected against poorly documented threats. But the feature with the best name easily goes to the time machine protection. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow me to travel through time, but it does well protecting my files from ransomware attacks by backing them up. And that's not all the extras. There's also a safe files and VPN feature, which is kind of becoming the standard to have for premium antiviruses. So overall, is Bitdefender worth investing in? I believe so. Despite Bitdefender's entry-level plan costing more than the others I've covered, it can protect three devices simultaneously. That isn't bad at all, considering protecting the same amount of devices with Norton for a year costs more. If none of the first three providers convinced you, I got two additional considerations for you. ESET is the first one. Its Mac interface is clean and free of clutter with a handy features menu listed on the left side of the app. I like the simple, colorful layout and found it very intuitive and easy to navigate. Moreover, it's one of the most secure Mac antivirus. In independent lab tests, ESET performed flawlessly for protection, performance, and usability. So all is good on the security side of things, but what about features? Unfortunately, ESET on Mac is quite limited. It does have all the essentials like real-time protection and scans. However, it lacks additional features, including ransomware and network protection. 
On the bright side, with Mac, you're getting these with the ESET Internet Security Advanced Protection Package. And another additional recommendation in this Mac antivirus review to consider is Surfshark, a fairly new provider in the antivirus market. From my experience, it's a cheap and lightweight alternative to traditional antivirus providers. It has real-time protection, antivirus scans, and can be used on five devices. It's mostly known as a top VPN provider, so of course, it has that too. All of that comes at a really reasonable price, so it's a great solution for your overall Mac protection. Now at this point, I didn't even expect to see a firewall, but no AV independent testing on Mac version? Well, that's surprising. However, you know me, I did my own tests. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't know what to expect here, but it got my approval with a scan that took just over five minutes. Surfshark detected all 10 malicious files. Okay, so to sum this up, do Macs need antivirus? Even though Apple puts plenty of resources into protection, it's not perfect, especially against newer threats. In addition, you might benefit from extra security features like VPNs these Mac antivirus 2023 providers can offer. While my current top choice for Mac is Total AV, as a cheap multiple device option, any of these five recommendations is a major improvement over what Apple's protection can offer. In the end, it really depends on personal needs. For example, one can be a great option for advanced users, while the other might be the best antivirus for complete beginners. Anyhow, to once again see what features these providers have and get them at a discounted price, click on the screen right now. And if you need protection not only for Mac but your other devices as well, check out our best antivirus tier list video next. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.